If you want to make amazing looking charts like this or this, stick to the end of this video. I'm going to show you exactly how you can create amazing looking charts in seconds using ChatGPT and getting an Excel spreadsheet, applying that to ChatGPT and getting amazing results absolutely free. So without further ado, let's get into the best feature that ChatGPT has to offer. This is how to use ChatGPT for real estate data analysis and it can be used in any way you like. Now, the reason I make these videos is to help real estate agents become financially free using technology and social media. And today we're gonna to be talking about technology. And if you hate spending heaps of time creating nice looking charts on Excel spreadsheet, you've gotta watch this video. If you also hate cleaning data in your spreadsheet, this can also help as well. And if you want a really good looking chart, or don't know what chart to use to visually show your data, this is the video you need to watch. Everything I'm about to show you is absolutely free and I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So without me talking too much, let's get straight into it. The first thing we're gonna do is create a free account on ChatGBT. Just click on this link that I've provided. Okay, so you're gonna be greeted with this page now you can still talk to ChatGPT, however, you won't be able to get the capabilities that you want. So let's actually either sign up or log in. So if you click sign up, now if you click sign up, you can create an account using your email address or any of these below. Now I've already created an account, so I'm not gonna do that again. And I'm simply just gonna press log in. What you wanna do next is you actually wanna click on this little sidebar. So if you come here, as you can see, we've been greeted by ChatGPT, and there's a few things I want you to get aware of. Firstly, this message bar right here, which is how we're actually gonna interact with ChatGPT, and we wanna click on this sidebar right here. Okay, now if you see here, I've already got this add-on, or this GPT, which it's actually named, and we're gonna be using it. So if we come back here, the next step is to go down on the sidebar, and you want to see those four dots that we saw before, which says explore chat GPT. So if you come here, it says explore GPTs. That's where you want to see. Now, I've got some already, but you will not see this when you first get it. And these are just my chats down below. Okay. So now because of the recent update that ChatGPT has had, it's actually released some of its premium features to the public. So there's some amazing GPTs. As you can see here, you've even got a resume builder um, from Jobs and you can actually talk to different websites. It's called using an API. Now you don't really need to know what that is. All you need to know is that now you're gonna get the features that the paid users used to have. Image generation is now free. You can also connect to Canva. I'll most likely make some more videos about this, but for today, we want to use this thing called mermaid chart diagrams and charts. So if we come back here, I'm not going to leave you in the dark, and I've actually got the link right here. So if you see right here, you go in the search bar, and you're going to click on this exact link. So we just click there. Now that you're also signed in, you can also get straight into it. Okay, so... Now we're finally at the stage where we can actually upload a CSV file. So how we're gonna do that is we're simply gonna click on this little paperclip icon here, and then it actually gives you the option to connect apps. Now I've already connected one app, and you can also upload an image, right, to ChatGPT. So now it's, it's a visual thing. So instead of just text, you can actually feed it massive amounts of data, which is what AI is generally good at. So if you go connect apps and you have a Microsoft Drive, you can also use that there. I've added a Google Drive. And if you actually click on this, I'll just show you. What it'll actually do is you'll have to log into one of your drives, your online drives. I don't have a Microsoft account, um, but if you want to, you can just simply sign up and it's a very easy process and you're most likely used to it. So let's go back. Okay, so if you see here, I simply have a generic Sheets CSV file. And this one is just from the month January. Okay, if you see here, I've re-uploaded this CSV file, but 
in the current one that I have, it has January, February, March, and etc. So just for demonstration purposes, I've just created this, it isn't real, this is to show the absolute potential of the free capabilities of OpenAI's update. Okay, let's head back to ChatGPT. Now that you've, by now, gotten all of your credentials done, you should have connected a drive and you should have uploaded a CSV to that drive. So if we click on the paperclip, we can only click add from Google Drive. Okay, I'm gonna click on one of the files. So you need to put this into a file, okay? And just click on that. And if you see here, I've got real estate commissions and that's what we're gonna be visualizing today. All right, once it is actually approved, you'll see that it's got the name there and it's even got a little icon. And we wanna actually come back here. And I've actually got a prompt that you can even use. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. And yep, we've started the chat, we've clicked the paperclip icon, and now we've got a chance to connect our drive. So, hey look, you're almost done, and you're past 50 to almost 60% of people who would have watched this video and skipped it already. But you're almost to the end, and I congratulate you on that. We've already chosen our file, and we need to write a nice prompt, okay? So it's even smart enough to identify what graph is best for each situation. So we're gonna use a prompt like this, right? Can you analyze the real estate data from the CSV probably um, provided and give me best visual representation and the data that's being displayed, all right? So it's basically asking to show me some visual data. Now, what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna Command C, Command V, and if you see here, I'm just going to click Enter. That's all I've done, all right? And watch the magic happen. As you can see, it's analyzing the data, and it should be cleaning the data. So here, it's actually got the best charts that it reckons we should do. So talking about a line chart, a bar chart, uh, a pie chart, and those three are good. Okay, so I'm back, and if you are having trouble, which I actually did, what you can do is instead of using the CSV file, what you should do is you should just place in the data right here, and it'll understand the columns and rows, because um, it's pretty smart about that. So what it's actually done is I've simply asked it, um, you know, can you give me the percentage of agents who sold the most houses, all right? Same with business owner, I just wanna know which one of my agents are selling the most houses and what's their percentage share in that area, okay? So maybe it could even be your competitors, competitor analysis, and you can give it this data. Um, so it's actually given you the diagram code. If you want, most likely you're not interested in that, but here it actually gave this. So how's, how's it sold by agent? 50% was John, 25% Jess, and equally 25% was Steve, okay? Um, and you can actually edit it in this mermaid editor, but you may not want that. So I'm gonna come back to this document right here. And look, there's so many endless possibilities on where you can use this. It doesn't even have to be for real estate. It can be for your own personal growth. Um, so where I would use this specifically um, for my viewers, and if you're not a real estate viewer, um, you might not get this. However, if you're listing presentations are for vendors, this is so great to show you the growth in the area. Okay, so let's actually create that one. So the possibilities are simply endless with this. Now I could make as many charts as I want um, and that might be a bit boring because I want you to experiment by yourself. The biggest thing that I've noticed is I've been playing around with it and if you don't have 4.0, um, it doesn't do a good job of understanding. So what I've done here is I just wanted to know the highest prices per house. Um, and it gave me a kind of like a flow chart, which is cool because you can actually make flow charts for this. So you can brainstorm with this tool and see the data visually, not just the words. You know, these that data that, data that I just showed you um, with the pie chart, I mean, you can use this for so many things. I mean, you can do this for listing presentations, team meetings and reports, your own personal growth and tracking. Example was the commissions. You know, if you wanna see a bar chart like at the start of the video of, you know, my commissions rising or lowering, um, 
it's absolutely insane. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And look, if you did want a copy of this exact sheet I have here, because it's got step-by-step -step and exact links, um, you can always uh, comment down below, type the word sheet, and I'll actually um, send this to you. You can DM me on Instagram. I'll put all this, the links in the description, and then you can actually get this off me. Now, look, I hope this changed your life as much as it did for me. And if you truly like these videos, I recommend you subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot more of these and I know you're going to love them. So without further ado, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.